three, two, one, go. Welcome to Grounds After Rounds. So did you hear about the, uh, did you hear about the math teacher who got fired? No, I didn't, Jack. Yeah, she called all of her students average. They said she was mean. Uh, <laughs> I bet Amy really laughed hard at that one. Amy. Coach Amy. Reed? Yeah. Uh, is that the one that she was smiling, laughing in the picture? Uh, maybe that. No, I don't remember oh. what, if I told her that one or if I told her a different one. But uh, I don't think we're going to use that picture. Oh, really? I'd, I'd like to, but it doesn't like show her face. That's you know true. What I mean, it's a great picture. It's a great shot of her neck. It's a good, uh, good neck shot. Yeah, but uh, the other ones turned out really well too. Yeah, cool. That one looked good. Cool. Yeah. Hey. Hey, what? Uh, you know why Spider Man picked his nose? Oh, why? I just had to pick my nose right there. That's weird. To get rid of the Green Goblin. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, all right, folks, welcome. welcome. If you don't know who the Green Goblin is. Welcome to Crowns After. Watch the first Spider Man with Tobey Maguire, right? And yeah. Kirst- Kirsten Dunst. Kirsten. Right, isn't she? She's yeah. in it. That's and, uh, and Jimothy Franco. That's a good one. And yeah. uh, Willem Dafoe. He's so good. Not William Dafoe. Willem. Willem. Willem Dafoe. Willem Dafoe is a fantastic actor that I think can play a villain in anything. And I didn't love him as the Green Goblin. It was a little cheesy. He was almost like too over the top. Yeah. So, but a lot of people love. What does James series. Franco become? To he to, ends up becoming the Green well. Goblin to event. Spoiler alert: Avenge his father's death. Yeah. Who he believed Spider Man yeah. killed his okay. best, his best friend Peter Parker. Anyway, but I think there's also a storyline in the comics where he actually ends up becoming. And this could be totally incorrect. So anyone that knows more about comics and Spider Man, he also may end up becoming the Hobgoblin, which is like, a, it's just a different version. combination of yeah. the Green Goblin. Yeah. But his own so and it's all that uh technology the this they like yeah. enhance themselves and then oscorp that's created oscorp it. that's it yeah. yeah they're like the um tony the evil tony Stark. oscorp yeah oscorp's like the evil tony stark or like the evil like wayne enterprises so there's or, no oscorp in uh or luther corp Superman. yeah yeah there's no oscorp in um the reboots then of the marvel movies with spider-man no, there is. Um, is so Oswald, it? it's a super emo looking dude with the pre, like the the younger Andrew Ryan haircut. Um, the like come over. Um, yeah, it was still yeah, it, it was still the whole Harry Osborne thing. What was the first one though? I think though it wasn't. Is this the with the with what's his face? Andrew Garfield. Oh, you mean I'm sorry. You're th- in. Um, sorry, there's Andrew the Garfield. Numbers. And now I'm thinking. Yeah, no. So far, Oscorp is not. I don't think it's been introduced i don't think anything osborne or oscorp has been introduced okay. but there's still time yeah because isn't he part of now the whatever phase whatever this next phase whatever is. it is like it's still sony properties but they're still gonna work like work with marvel and they're still probably gonna do some sort of crossover. oh spider-man yeah spider-man um, is owned by sony but they made a deal with marvel, marvel or what is it them. marvel marvel studios to be able disney. to disney Who's Disney? And Sony isn't owned by Disney yet. No. So what did? But what did? So Marvel bought a bunch of the rights to Sony's. Like Marvel has the rights to X Men now. They have the rights mm. to Fantastic Four. Marvel Studios does. Gotcha. Um, Spider Man is still Sony. Like that's their cash cow. And so like Spider Man was allowed to show up in the Avengers movies, but the standalone Spider Man movies are Sony. Okay. Got it. Yep. so it's a yeah fascinating isn't it, it's not, it, but this it is, actually it actually really is i think you didn't you listen to the you listen to the business was a business wars podcast yeah the marvel, marvel versus um yeah and I, the, I, I think they got into the sony mcu stuff the marvel the universe yeah i may not have made it that far but um but it's it's interesting it's it's crazy confusing it's like wait isn't but it's Spider-Man. Yes, but it is Spider-Man. But he got per- they got permission to put Spider-Man in this one. Right. He's actually like, so it's really confusing, but it makes for good movies and, and nerdery. Good old nerdery. Good old nerdery. So, so, but yeah, here we are. Panda Watch, day five. <laughs> Nothing yet. Nothing yet. Yep. 
she even had an appointment yesterday with the midwife and uh i asked mike yesterday is like so did they like check was there like a head or anything just making its way out or maybe a leg or maybe just like a you know like a sign that says like you know back in 10 minutes also one of those <laughs> so nothing Pop, so popping out nothing. the old popping out the old back end <laughs> hope it's not coming out the back end i don't even know i don't even know how this thing works <laughs> it's so funny i was talking to i was talking to danny yesterday <laughs> Who I think I want to have. I'm totally, talking about like oh, Danny. I'm talking about like potential guests to have on the podcast. Yeah. And I, so I'd love to have Danny on as we lead in the baseball. But um, but Danny is a, a paramedic yeah. slash firefighter, and, and um and we we're talking yesterday. He about delivered how, a baby in a fire one time. I don't know if he's actually done it in a fire, but no. he has delivered. He said about eight or nine babies. That's not exciting. It's not in a fire though. I know. It's <laughs> and uh, it's like eight or nine more babies than I've delivered. Right. <laughs> So the so we're having the baby at the Frederick Birth Center, which is about an hour away. And it was on fire. We'll find out. Oh, okay. If anything, that'll be the story. <laughs> they gave birth in a fire. Nice. Um, and Danny cut the umbilical cord. So I said to Danny, I said, "Do you have any? Do you have any suggestions for like, if the you know if we don't have time to make it to the birth center, like if I have which to catch exit, this which, thing, which exit should I pull? Yeah, off? right. And he said, he said." Uh, just hold your hands out and don't drop it. That's that's all you can really do. I was like, all right, cool. That's, what that's I think. the worst advice ever. <laughs> just hold your hands out and don't drop it. And he said, and you, he goes, and you I brought used, him. You brought him on board to coach he children. Said, he said, I usually get the. He goes, I usually get the other guys to do it because uh, it's gross. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh man. I think so. Phil used to say the same thing. It was gross. And then now he has two kids of his own. And he's like, it's not so gross anymore. Like it's just. <laughs> It's just the human body, man. It's just the human body. The human body does lots of gross things. It's true. And he's probably seen You've like, already done three of them today. <laughs> doing one right now. Pick. Oh, boy. And that's it, folks. Have a great weekend. <laughs> yeah. I, we hope you've enjoyed the run of Grounds After Rounds, as this is our... It's funny that you said run. <laughs> this is our last episode ever. No runs intended. Ba-boom. <laughs> I didn't run in the water today either. <laughs> you didn't? Did you bike? I did. C2? Bike. C2. Yeah. It was, uh, it was a fun little battle between Alex and I on the, the squats. I told him, I said, I'm going to bike it, so I'll probably be a little bit ahead of you on that barbell when you come in off the run, and it'll make it nice. You can chase me. That mf came in at like 126, 127 on those runs. I still had like 25 meters on the bike. I bet if you didn't tell him, he like – No, he yeah. thought you might – yeah, but he like, was – moving yeah it was awesome it was a fun race the long alex stride yeah so he got me on the first one he went two minutes i went 201 then i went 154 he went 155 and then i went 151 and i'm pretty sure he went like 147 or 148 like he was flying in mm. that last round but then i took him on the road the burpees. there you go yeah the burpees was your the burpees is your I feel like on the row were you relatively close? I got off before he he hit a wall. And that's fine. Oh, okay. Like that yeah. it'll that that'll come back. Yeah. He's already been more consistent in these last couple months than yeah. he was before. He's, so yeah, he's getting yeah, back. he'll 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 bounce right back and you can see it in his demeanor. Yeah. If we yeah. can talk about you for a minute, Alex. Like you can see in his demeanor, like he's starting to feel better because he's finding that consistency. Yeah. It's it's a it just is a uh, I actually wrote a about it a little bit on our new website of it's one of the, the health benefits of improved uh it just says improved health but improved uh improved consistency across broad consistency times modal times bribe, modal consistency times and, and bribe. domains and power outputs um <laughs> intensity science what the heck is that that was a weird noise it's Something dead now killing a duck or a it was a fox eating a duck being swallowed by an alligator. <laughs> I kind of want to go see that. That would be a cool show. See you guys next week. Anyway, yeah, it just makes life better. Doing yeah. CrossFit just makes life better. It does. So who, uh, who's it? Kelly. Kelly gave me a compliment this morning. My hat came off. I was demoing snatches. And she said, I hadn't seen your hair without your hat on it for a long time. She's like, you now look like an 80s TV star. Hmm. I said, like, like Jason Bateman? And she goes, yeah, you could be Jason Gary Bateman. Bateman. I said, oh, Kelly, you are now my favorite. Uh, you know what's funny, too? Like, I feel like there's someone, like, very, like, almost like, I want to say, like, Scott Baio, because he almost had, hmm. 
wasn't his was it scott bayo was his hair longer and it had because yours gets wavy a little bit yeah. like baven's is very straight yeah I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if i can find a who wore it better scott bayo or me uh, it might be scott bayo i have to go that's back chachi that. right i think scott so bayo yeah chachi. and then yeah. um chachi knows best right or no charles in charge Joni loves chachi Joni loves chachi wasn't but he was charles in charge too right i don't know scott bayo I didn't actually watch those. Oh. I just know Scott Bayo. Charles, yeah, Charles in charge. He was like a, he was like the father-in-law oh. or like the. No, you know what flow you've got going. Go and keep talking. Okay, this is gonna be awesome. I don't know. And now, now I'm. No, I'm, you're gonna. I, I'm very I'm, nervous. I'm actually very excited about it. Is it a professional wrestler? Oh no, there's plenty of those. Oh, okay. So uh, as you look, what's our? Um, we we have a plan, folks. We always yeah. do when we start. So what's our? Okay, so we're hitting off our weekend review. Okay. Okay. So, okay, here it is. Bam. Whoa, whoa. Joey, Joey Lawrence. Lawrence. All right. For right. those of you, for those of you, I think this is like, this is where it's going. Okay. I could take the Joey Lawrence. I could lose the shirt. Just Google Lori. But maybe. Right. You should lose the shirt. Let's lose see. the shirt. So if. Let's get in here. So for if those of you, in. if you're not watching on YouTube, you might as well go watch it on YouTube. Look at that. It's actually kind of getting there. Yeah. Just give me a whoa, whoa. That's <laughs> actually. <laughs> Yes. Oh my gosh. We found it. Yes. Okay. So anyway. Screw that Desmond. I was going to do uh, the guy who played Desmond on uh, Lost. Never watched Lost. Oh gosh. I don't even know you anymore. Have you watched Puff and Rock? Yeah. All the time. Oh. So. Christ on a cracker. We can review. We can review. We already did our jokes. We already just kind of, we already just kind of went over Wednesday. We'll kind of cut touch base. Yeah. We'll kick off. So Monday was that beautiful little kettlebell swing, handstand push up. No, went swing, lunge, handstand push up. No, swing, lunge, toes to bar, handstand. Toes to bar, handstand push up. 30 10, 30 10. AMRAP. 12 minute AMRAP. 12 minute AMRAP. Worst wad ever. Worst wad ever? I hated that wad. I think other people did too. Good. I think they, I think it was one, and it was definitely one of those ones. The vibe is um, you look at it and you're just like, ugh. <laughs> and in your mind you're just like i don't want to do this one and then when you're done it's like a, you're happy but you're just also like i'm Ugh, so glad that one's that's done. exactly the way i thought it was going to feel actually yeah. i thought it was going to go a lot better the toes to bar did not go well mm -hmm. which that's what crossfit is supposed to do it's supposed mm -hmm. to offer you the um, opportunity to continue to improve and so um whatever yeah Time to get time to get to work on some toes to bar. Yeah. So Nathan loved it. He, uh, oh, he was like, oh, that was my favorite. It was he's I think that was probably my favorite workout, my favorite CrossFit workout of all time. What weight kettlebell did he use? Uh, I don't know, thirty five maybe. Probably used at least a thirty five. Yeah. yeah. But no, his toes to bar were on point, and mm. his hands push ups were on oh. point. He's like, he's just, he's just like, I just felt. He's just so just, nimble. I felt fit all day, and I was like, well, good man, it worked. It's working. Yeah. So, yeah. I was happy for him. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> Nathan. <laughs> yeah, he's just so anything gymnastics. He's just so like he just makes it look so effortless. Yeah, because he's just so Nathan. I did not like so. it, but that's okay. It's a good workout. Yeah, um, and I think it surprised people that they were only in two, two and a half round, rounds. Nobody, I don't think anybody got three rounds. No, a day, which is I, I expected. Yeah. So if you just do the math, rounds or reps per second, blah 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 blah. Like yeah, you know, seconds per rep, like. You're not going to come close. That was one. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you had to scale that one back a lot. I went out to, like, I went out as fast as possible to mm -hmm. see what was, what you could maintain. Yeah. And I think I went like 345 in the first round and then like 510 and yeah. then like limb tone yeah. like, into the third set of toes to bar. Yeah. So I think a lot of people came out like they were just under four, maybe around four that first round and yeah. fell out. Yep. Fell off. Yep. So it's good. Grippy. Tuesday was uh, an opportunity to, really feel what it feels like to push the pedal down mm -hmm. and not hit the brakes mm -hmm. no reason to slow down or stop or rest sub five minutes for most folks yeah. maybe a couple a little over five but everyone was under six yeah. and that was the that was the idea on it the dubs and the, the i think anyone that went over five they were just slowing down to kind of clean up the movement yeah yeah and then, uh, so that led into today's, which is very similar. Mm -hmm. No excuse not to go fast because the barbell is light. Alex actually almost tried to convince me to let him go 95 pounds. And, uh, and I mean, in a, in a good, it wasn't like a, you know, nothing like no, that. Just, just a, you know, right. And I said, well, actually the idea is to go even lighter. Mm -hmm. Cause I was like, I know you can move that barbell, but I want you to be light 
so that you can feel what it feels like to pull under. Yeah. And his first rep in the first and third rounds, he missed. Oh yeah. Because he, it was like, whoa, like yeah. he, it was cause your legs coming in off the run. Mm-hmm. And that's the idea is if you really push the run, how does that influence the speed back under and you're going touch and go on those oh yeah, yeah definitely that's the everything should be touch and go yeah the only modification i let well not let but somebody Luis wanted to go heavy so he ended up building across he went 95 115 135 mm-hmm. but he only did three reps and the idea was he, he just wanted to go heavy on something yeah and we talked about it he submitted his um special request chit 72 hours in advance we routed it up the chain of command got high headquarters authorization and then with the um, slight addendum uh, uh, modification to reduce the rep count. And so that was, yeah, he followed all the proper chain of command in the channels. That's and Luis, that was, man. He's yeah, a rule follower. He's a rule follower. And so yeah. if anybody else, you know, you see the workouts and you want to, you know, you're looking to, to modify on your own, you know, 72 hour advance notice with a special request shit, yeah. route it through your, um, you know, direct superior to, uh, to hire headquarters at Fairwinds CrossFit. Yeah. By all means, you can too. You can call it red tape as much as you want. Yep. I think it's you. Bureaucracies, bureaucracies keep us safe. It's true. Keep you, keep, uh, yeah. They keep the, uh, the, fickle, the fickle flavors of populist sentimentality from endangering itself. Took the words right out of my mouth. That's right. And uh, you know what? It leaves you. How bad do you really want it? Are you, really, are, you willing, right. are you willing to follow the chain of command? Are you willing to do these little things to get what you really want? Because if you're not, then you don't really, you want, don't really it. want it. You don't really want it. Go have pizza. Oh, I, pizza. I was that was in my head i was telling myself <laughs> go have a pizza and it just slipped out i'm sorry <laughs> what are we talking about uh, again pizza pizza okay pizza all right so going in tomorrow a nice little yeah sort 24 of 24 minute imam yeah, alternating kind of some skill work as you get fatigued um mixing in the machines i think yeah um, it's uh some banded work oh that's right the banded that's work the calorie row and then the um what was the last one i forget what fourth movement is banded banded row high box jumps that's, that's right. it so, so a little bit of explosiveness after being a little tired and and this one also for those who are on our five days a week schedule and you come monday through friday this is a good day to come and maybe turn the intensity down a little bit mm-hmm. still get a good sweat still move for 24 minutes but set yourself up for friday, friday. Bah, 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 bah. those who have already done it uh, and you're listening to this, you will remember the pain and anguish of that lactic acid coursing through your body after only three and a half to four and a half minutes of work. Acid bath. So it's not acid bath, but it is a, uh, it's a. Is that what you're referring to as acid bath? Sort of, but I just oh. mean, no, because they'll have done this. Oh, you're saying when they're listening gotcha. to it. Anyone that's done acid bath. No. It's different. Current listeners. I... No, I'm picking podcast. up. Yeah, okay. I'm picking up what you put okay. down. Yeah, yeah. Um, I was over here. You're over here. Now, now we're, we're here. here. So we're calories touching. in, calories out. Three machines. Um, hopefully the the rewrite. Amy did a, a quick edit for me. Was asking some questions because originally the way it was written, it seemed confusing that it would be all the calories. But there are three tracks. Thou shalt pick one track mm-hmm. and stay that track. And the track determines how many calories you do. Stand so track. for RX1, RX2, or RX3, it doesn't really matter. They're all prescribed. Yep. It's just a matter of what adventure you're looking for. Yep. You want the, the inside track or the outside track or the middle track. Or the middle track. Yep. And, Pick uh, one and stay with it. That's right. So 30 calories, 30 calories, 30 calories. Echo, ski, bike. Boom, boom, boom. Pass out. Hey, let me ask you a question. Sure. Sorry, just we're talking about the bikes. And I think we've had this discussion before and i'm curious if you were let's say we're starting again and we're getting equipment or you're like building your garage gym what do you get first a c2 bike or an echo bike c2 yeah Mm -hmm. why you can't mimic the motion of that bicycle unless you already have a bike like a bicycle bike yeah um still different and you have one of those trainers yeah and it's got like a computer on it or whatever like you could probably get 90 maybe 75 80 percent of what that c2 bike can do mm-hmm. but i think that c2 bike is probably one of the best training uh, uh implements yeah. that concept two has come up with ever would you buy a c2 bike before you bought an erg now i would yeah really yeah because you can you can mimic 
ninety percent of rowing with sumo to the thigh pulls, like yeah. box step ups, yeah. banded work, good point. Yep. Um, swings, air squats, air squats with a pool. Like there's a lot you can do. And this is get. coming from a, like you you've used the C two bike a lot in place of running. Mm -hmm. um, for someone that li likes to run, would you still like someone they could run all day, like a Luis could run all day. Would you still say I would, C two bike? Yeah. Now at some point. It's the same idea of like, well, if I only had to pick one barbell movement, which one do you pick? Right. Well, I'm picking thrusters because right. it's got a front squat, a squat, a press overhead, mm -hmm. right? Like, but understand you're going to miss the pull of a snatch, the mm -hmm. pull of a deadlift, the pull of a, right? I mean, you do have the pull to get the bar to the front rack. So you've right. got to clean it every time, which, okay, so sure. I can cheat there and I do get some pull. But as far as the modality and what that movement facilitates it's kind of a it's not a silly it's a great question yeah it's a, but the echo bike then serves you can get a lot done with that echo bike but like joe that today perfect example i had him riding that the c2 instead of running and he was like well, what about the echo bike and i said i want the stimulus of the run to fatigue you not crush you yeah you can't really fatigue yourself on the echo bike without crushing yourself i feel like the echo bike you get a lot of bang for your buck in when you program it that is a very potent device yeah i feel like the c2 bike you get a lot of bang for your buck because it's much more versatile when yeah. you're talking about programming so i can i can jack that c2 fan the yeah. damper up to 10 mm -hmm. and mimic a weightlifting movement right almost as well as I can mimic that weightlifting movement with the echo bike. Mm -hmm. So let's say like I can't squat below parallel or I'm having trouble, you know, going overhead mm -hmm. and it's got heavy jerks or heavy push press mm -hmm. in it or something. I'll throw somebody on the echo bike to get that same like 25 to 45 seconds. They get off their nice and out of breath and then mm -hmm. they're doing a gymnastics movement right. or, you know, another monostructural movement or something. Mm -hmm. You can, the echo bike is, I think an optimal, piece of gear to mimic the you know the power output or sort of the intensity stimulus of burpees or a, you know medium right. medium weight barbell weightlifting movement right you can get almost the same stimulus with that c2 but with as you said a fidelity of i can also crank that thing way down mm -hmm. and just kind of ride as if i was going for a nice long yeah. you know 800 meter run in between stuff so like Helen would be a perfect example. Three rounds for time yeah. of a 400 meter run, 21 kettlebell swings, 12 pull ups. I can't run because my knees effed up. Right. Well, I can jump on that C2 and run a ride to 800 meter and feel very similar. Mm -hmm. I jump on that Echo bike and do a half a mile. It kind of becomes a different workout. You got it. Yeah. And that's that's the that's where it serves its purpose. But I'm gonna if I could only buy one thing, I'm buying a C2. I'm buying a barbell, I'm buying a set of 10s, 25s, 45s, and I'm trying to rig up some sort of pull-up bar somewhere. Yeah. That's that's a home gym. Oh, and, and probably a set of maybe a you know a 20, a 35, and a 50 pound Pounds dumbbell. dumbbell. Yeah. 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 You you have that you can in your do, garage. Yeah. Holy crow, you could get really effing fit yeah. in about six months to a year. Yeah. Yeah. Legit. Cool. And a set yeah. of rings. But you need the pull-up bar for the set of rings. True. Yeah. Well, you need a tree. You could do it. You, you can put rings around anything. You're right. So I even think more so than a pull-up bar, just get a set of rings. It's Agreed. If you have, right, right. If you don't, if you can't bolt a pull-up bar in anything, yeah. you can hang on off a door. Yeah. And uh, do like elevated ring row or, you know, yeah. you don't ring rows or something. Rings. Yeah. So, cool. Well, that's good because, again, another conversation I was having with Danny because he was asking how we like the C2 bikes. Freaking love I was like, they're a freaking game changer. Yeah. So. Ball one for the house. That's right. You did. I did. That's right. Cool. All right. Uh, last one of the week, Saturday. Yes. Let's finish Part off the week. Three of the, uh, the repeats. Deja vu all over again. Yeah. This one. Um, this one was called, um, I don't know what it's called. It's a food, food thing. Yeah. Fun deja fondue. I don't know what it was called. Do you remember? Thank you, come again. That's it. Thank you, come again. Yeah. It's going to be good. 
So this is the, and now this is the, uh, this is the rounds for time, right? Five rounds. So last yeah. week was three rounds. This yeah. one is five rounds. And anything five rounds, we tend to find like, I, and this is, maybe you agree, three rounds, like anything five rounds, by the time you hit that third round, like you're in it. Fourth round's a bit of a grind. Fifth round is just full send, get it done. So what's going to so happen one, is, so everyone, I, I have the, I did it in the moment, but I do have the numbers. Um, we had about a 90% compliance rate of those who had done it the first week and did it the second, second week, week improved by anywhere between 50 to 60 okay. seconds across the board. Yeah. There were a couple anomalies. I haven't actually graphed it, but I bet you if you graph it, our curve will probably look something like this, where the bell is way near to the, to the right as mm -hmm. far as those who improved versus those who got worse versus those who improved more than the the mean or the, the, mean. the average time in the middle. You're mean. You're mean. You're so average. Um, Meaner than the average athletes. Yes. So what that tells me is that the three rounds for time, though it increased the transitions by three times, mm -hmm. the ability for people to go unbroken in each of those little rounds improved or gave them more power output because it's yeah. the same amount of work but they're moving a minute faster we'll just round it up to a minute mm -hmm. force times displacement over time equals work work over time the total time is your power average power or average intensity average power output mm -hmm. people did more work they yeah. were they were they got more fit doing it as three rounds for time than as a chipper yeah my bet is this five rounds for time, we degrade. Yeah. People will probably go slower because now you've increased the transitions by five mm -hmm. and some of these machines, the, the row. You'll see those drop off. No, I think people will still go as hard, but you got three, two extra times on each time to get in and out of sure. the earth. Yeah, sure. The only place where they may pick it up is the double unders. Mm -hmm. And those snatches yeah. might get faster. Yeah. So there may be sort of a, it might be sort of that Goldilocks where it's sort of right in the middle of the chipper, mm -hmm. the three rounds for time, just right for that five rounds for time. So we've been, it was about 18, 18 and a half minutes as a chipper was the average time. Mm -hmm. It was about 16, 45 to 17 minutes for, three rounds. yeah, it's close. Actually, sorry, I lied. It was 17, 45 to like 17, 30 for the three rounds for time, mm -hmm. I bet you we end up right, right, right in the 18 minute mark, which if you look at my notes that I wrote over a month ago, I said that the it's AMRAP kind of will most likely be about an 18 minute AMRAP. Yeah. And that's just from me doing like, it's 150, it's 300 reps that, you know, if you four seconds of rep, do the math on that, it's about 18 minutes. Yeah. I think if I, you know, rough off the top of my head. But four seconds rep times. Carry the seven. There you go. 18, oh, six, square 90, root six of times the, eighteen. Square root of the gym. Integrate that across the curve. The axis of the. Yeah, yeah, about eighteen. And minutes. then double it. Yeah. Right. So that's how you'd always do the explode. That's how you'd always do the cleanup shot. Right. I got like five hundred pounds of leftover stuff. I've got to do this. I got this contact. I'm gonna do a you know, little you know pyramid structure. Put it on top. Cool. I'm gonna need about thirty pounds of explosive. Double it. Sixty pounds should. Be. <laughs> 30 pounds is enough, 60 pounds will definitely do it. <laughs> uh, cool. Yeah, cool week. Um, this one, I think uh, it's funny talking to Amber and Joanne on Sunday because we kind of do like a quick like look ahead of the you, week. You do this? A very like brief version of this because it's also like I'm willing to give them, a I'm willing to let oh, yeah. them cherry pick a little bit. If um, that means they'll consistently come. Right. Totally. And uh and so I said, not really getting any heavy lifts, heavy lifts in this week. So it's a good thing you got, you did Friday. So they did Friday's wad. And Amber actually, she said she hit the, she hit the power <laughs> clean in the front squat. I think she hit it at her current PR, if not hit a five pound PR, but she missed the squat on last Friday's. Oh, the, the complex. Power gotcha. clean, yeah, front yeah. squat. Anyway, so I said, so we did that and then we do weightlifting on Sunday and so I said, so you don't really get any heavy lifts this week. And so like, 
this is gonna be a week like i need you to really figure out the ones you really want to do mm-hmm. and, and go for it and i really i didn't think they were going to come they hate Amber and joanne hate lunges with the passion of a thousand fiery suns but they still came on monday Excellent. and they were and they were awesome good um yeah this is uh, sometimes these weeks where i think uh I, I will do personally like kind of look forward to like I can't do these couple and a nice little reward like Friday, last Friday, the the kind of heavy day, but this is the one that really like well, a little preview. Next well to... Monday the twelfth is a uh, a fun one. If you've looked. Uh Monday the Big Clean Complex. I did, yeah. That's Monday. Yeah. Monday the twelfth. Yeah. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Not really. Big clean. I saw this great meme. Uh, it was probably on Constantly Varied's Instagram where it said, um, shoot, what was it? Oh, it was just perfect. It was, uh, it was like, uh, what was it? It was the gym was full and it was like deadlift day and the parking lot is full. And then it was like, ah. so let's just say this. Like 5K, let's say, 5K let's say, run day. yeah, if it, if it was, if it was a CrossFit gym, it was deadlift day, parking lot full, 5K run day. Two, parking lot's empty two cars <laughs> yeah and one of them is the coaches yeah it's a 5k day is uh <laughs> what, what, what podcast i want to say it may have been best hour of the day where they said actually the 5k run is the most commonly programmed um workout on crossfit.com it's been programmed more than anything else on crossfit.com really 5k run i don't buy that mm-hmm. a lot of people thought fran nah i know that's you'll see, not because you'll see the 5k run you'll see the 5k run more between like you may see the 5k run twice between shots of fran than you will on on dot com i think that's anecdotal i would need to see some data on that i'm gonna make that a i'm gonna look it up okay all right yeah we'll come back to it i'm gonna set a reminder for myself now homework yeah and it's not that i don't trust them i don't trust them that that might be an ackerman fact yeah i think sometimes he throws out facts that aren't quite uh confirmed which they called him on that one time and made him do those 185 pound back squats, right? Where oh, is that what that? He he made some claim, and um, who's the third guy they have on from time to time? Uh, he was like, "No way, that's bullshit. No way." And, and Ackerman's like, "Yeah, yeah, no, no, it's, it's real." And they were like, "Nah," and he proved out he, fake news, bro. <laughs> yeah, he proved he was wrong, and so he had to do the squats. And it might have been just the squats that I could yeah. do thirty back, fifty back. Squats Maybe in that they were calling yeah. up that he couldn't do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. whatever it is, sometimes Ackerman throws out. It, the funny thing is, I mean, he's spot on with most of what I would say ninety nine percent of what he says when it comes to like the coaching and mm-hmm. you know that kind of stuff. I totally, yeah, like business ownership. Like, yeah, he's he knows his stuff. But that to me seems that I would need to see the data on it. Yeah, because that feels like a. Well, it feels like the 5K always seems to get programmed. Mm-hmm. That's a, um, God, they just, I was just hearing somebody talk about it. It's the, the it's a psychological uh, phenomenon. The red, I used to hear it called the red car effect. Right. You go, you buy a red car, you drive you always, off the lot. Oh my God, everyone, there's a red car, there's a red, red car. car. There's, nothing changed. It's just you now see, you're paying attention to it. You, you, if you're looking for something, you're going to find it. Right. So yeah. if you don't like 5Ks or you don't like you know, any time. It's like you guys always program burpees. Like every time you... Every it, uh, every time I'm here, you program burpees. I thought about the beast once. I told I know, you that. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. And you look at them and go like, yeah, let me look. Yeah, you've been here three times this month. And yes. Every time you showed up, we've programmed burpees. Guess how many times I've programmed burpees? Three times. It was start, actually, it was actually, start coming more often, you won't come every time we It was actually burpees. twice in 18 days that burpees showed up. Right. I think is what it was, and they showed up three times. Like, always burpees. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So true. Yeah. So we choose to look at what we want to look at, not what actually is, and that's why data can be very useful sometimes, but yep. it can also, you can make data tell whatever story you want it to tell. Mm-hmm. You just have to know that I mean, there is no real objectivity because wh- how far back are you going to go? Yeah. What are we calling the actual workouts? You know what right. I mean? Like there's a ton of stuff, but I would, yep. yeah, I'd be interested to see what dot com since 2001, February 11th, 2001, what is the most programmed wad of the workout of the day? It was about to be repetitive. Wad of the day. Workout of the day of the day. 
What are you using there? What's that app? This is this is the rem- just the reminder, the reminders oh. iPhone app. Yeah, it, with the new update, they've cleaned up a lot of stuff. It's Interesting. cool. Interesting. Two thousand one February. I think February eleventh so, was the first post. Did you say two thousand one? Yeah, February eleventh, two thousand and one. I think it's the first CrossFit dot com workout posted live. Okay. And they didn't post every day for like the first couple of weeks. Maybe took I'll just them, took them a while to get up on up to speed. You think Greg Glassman's on social media? Maybe I'll just DM him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think he's I think he's taking a break. Taking a break. Moved to Arizona and he was him. on a break. Homeschooling <laughs> his kids. Uh, awesome. Cool. Good stuff. Um there was something else I wanted to mention. How are we? I don't remember. But yeah, it's gonna be a fun week. It's a fun week. No, I'm sorry. It's been a fun week. It's been a fun week. Yes, it's it been has. a fun week. Yes, it has. Cool. Um, awesome. Uh, any upcoming stuff we can throw out there? Hey, Creek Beast T-shirts. Friday's the last day. If anyone's ordering those, that's listening to this. If you want a tie dye it. Um, Caroline Copples will tie dye. We're calling a suggestion donation of five dollars. All her proceeds are going to Barbells for Boobs. Pay five dollars for Caroline to tie dye your t shirt. Yeah, cheap SOBs. Just do it. It's gonna look awesome. She's really good at it, and I'm gonna do it with her. It's gonna be amazing. She already said she already has green and can yellow. Can I request Caroline to tie dye mine? Yes, okay. yes, you can. <laughs> I'll definitely make sure she does it. <laughs> cool. I want, a, I want a penis design <laughs> somewhere in there, like a Disney, like a Disney movie lion. Just the lion old, King, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what what I'm was talking? it? No, what was it in the Lion King? Like when he laid down on the flowers and the the flower, like petals popped up and it spelled sex. Yeah, I, I, yeah, exactly. Oh, and then like, the Little Mermaid was the priest that went like. Wah, wah. <laughs> I watched Little Mermaid recently. It's not on there. Yeah, they've edited it out, probably. Oh, probably. Um. Anyway. There's that. Uh, we're talking about a basketball game on October 31st, Halloweeny, um, at what's it called? It's Park in Eastport over there. It's just up the street. It's like a block from Davis's Pub. I'm sure you know where Davis's Pub is, so we'll go from there. That'll be fun. Um, that'll be a post wad like 10 a.m. Meet there. Um, Jared Anderton weightlifting. I'm trying to text him too. He's not great at responding, mm-hmm. but I'd love to get him on the podcast. Hmm. See if we can chat with him about the upcoming weightlifting seminar. Um, so yeah, still a chance to register for that. And uh, anything else coming up that I'm missing? That's it. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. Well done. It's good stuff. Crushing it. Feel good. Oh wait, that baby thing. Weren't you guys? Didn't you guys have a baby coming or something? <laughs> I told Shelly. I was like, I have a feeling Meg just put on a lot of weight, and she doesn't want to tell me. Oh my god, I can't and believe you just said that out loud. And Shelly she goes, just said that out loud. Goes, I am not affiliated with him in any way, Meg, at all. I know you don't listen to this, but still, for those who do, I did not say that. He said that, not me. It's very I am clearly a baby. Excited. I am extremely excited for the birth of your new child. It's very clearly a baby. Ooh. I mean, if you just look at, it's very, and it moves. So it's obviously, calm down. Wasn't it your dad who said something about like, man, you're getting big or something. Oh, me. he says all the things. <laughs> He's like, wow, you're looking really pregnant today. That was it. That was it. Wow, your face is really filling out. <laughs> Can't believe you wore st- vertical st- or horizontal stripes today. Oh my gosh, you oh. could fit in my clothes. No, oh. I'm just Look at you going in the pool. Anyway, you so you were buoyant. saying, you were saying, is that that's what you told Shelly? Yeah, said Shelly that. goes, don't say that to Meg. Yes, because you will. Or lose. on a recorded, or on a recorded medium that is now going to be archived on the internet somewhere. <laughs> Faith thinks she'll just be able to use this as evidence in the divorce suit. <laughs> she, she never loves me. She doesn't listen to this. I know. <laughs> also, uh, hi Nicole. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't say anything. <laughs> oh, oh, I think gosh. Meg looks beautiful glowing with the um radiance of life inside of her and i'm excited for the both of you less excited for you now i was like uh, <laughs> i wasn't friends when he said something about like you have this like radiant glow about you and she's like try holding your head over try holding your head over a toilet and throwing up <laughs> at four o'clock in the morning you'll have that glow too <laughs> something like, something rosy like cheeks yeah. or something yeah something remember, like yeah, that yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. All right, cool. Well, I'm grateful that Eric just uh, <laughs> just laid a gigantic turd 
out there because now I basically can't do anything wrong. I'm just kidding. I ain't scared. Just kidding. I ain't scared. <laughs> Look at me, steady as a rock. <laughs> Uh, cool. Um. Hey, I hey, I am grateful for Eddie Van Halen. That's a good one. Lost. So he was. So uh, Drew told me was throat cancer. I was. It was lung cancer. He was bad. He had. He's had like a long, long battle with lung cancer, off and on. Passed away yesterday. Um. Uh. I know he's married. I think his wife's name's Jamie. But then, like, previous marriage, Valerie Bertinelli and his son Wolfgang Van Halen. Who was actually, I don't know if it was recently, when I saw Van Halen back in 2007. He had joined the band, right? Wolfie was his, yeah, he was the bass player. Yeah. Um, and it was with, uh, and it was with David Lee Roth. And then I believe it's, uh, was his brother, and I, was his brother still on the drums? His brother may still been on the drums. I don't remember. But um, that's a cool story. Eddie Van Halen, actually, his, uh, when, so he and his brother, when they first started playing instruments, Eddie played the drums and his brother played the guitar hmm. and they hated it. So they were like, I just want to switch. <laughs> and uh, the rest is history. history. So yeah. um, I was, I, I played Van Halen during the beast yesterday. I was like, does anyone know Eddie Van Halen? And Shelly played it all day today yeah. during the workout too. It was awesome. And uh, none of them knew who he was, but Finn was so funny. Cause he's like, is that the song that goes like, and I was like, hold on. Hey guys, do you know this song by Van Halen? <laughs> And, uh, don't make fun of fantastic but uh, he was but trying he was he was awesome max mcginnis knew who van halen was so there he, got, you go. he got bonus points Ooh, bonus points for mcginnis bonus points like for mcginnis and uh he was feeling good about himself too. he had a little extra pep when i was like good yes he needs it um so yeah eddie van halen awesome and uh like it's sad it is but, um yeah just if you if you don't listen to van halen just do it today yeah it's worth it and um oh you ate one too 1984? Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Um, the album? Yeah. 5150. 5150. That's yeah. The other one. Which is the police code for, um, it's like, uh, uh, it's, it's like, I don't know, not necessarily a riot, but like, I don't know, public disturbance or like noise, something like that. Like you're creating a big public, that's what, that's the police code, 5150. Ah. Um, so it's basically like, yeah, we're going to play loud. <laughs> And and go hard. That's what we're gonna do. Did I get um, them in Aerosmith? Is Aerosmith OU8? No, Van Halen's OU8. OU812. Isn't that one? Our, isn't that an album too? Did I get that wrong? I don't know. This is where my uh, significant limitations and my yeah. coolness factor. You're cool, Jack. Um, you look like Joey Lawrence. Whoa, whoa. Um, I'm grateful for my son Matt. I think. Uh, that kid is pretty dang cool. He's uh, he's working through some some decisions about his sports. Yeah, 1984. Uh, OU812. Oh, yeah. OU812. 1998. Oh, yeah, I knew it. Yeah. Um, and uh, I got, he doesn't do anything without thinking it through and talking about it. And then, but when he's ready to move, Done. he's ready to move. Mine's my somebody. It. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so he's exploring some different options and I'm excited to see where he goes with it. But the deal with those guys always is um, as long as they're happy, I'm happy, but happiness doesn't mean like it's just always fun, 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 fun. Mm -hmm. But if at some point it's like, Hey, look, I just don't want to do this anymore. And mm -hmm. it's not because it's hard or whatever. Mm -hmm. They never, all three of them, they never walk away from a challenge, mm -hmm. but they also are very smart about they pick, they pick their fights wisely when it yeah. comes to, to that kind of stuff. And they don't just um, like school and, and like all that stuff. Like they don't just say, well, this is dumb. I don't want to do it. Mm -hmm. They will come with a very deliberate and specific, like, well, it doesn't really make sense for, for me to do it this way because that, 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 that. So I'm going to do it this way. And it's like, cool. I, yeah. All right. <laughs> Sounds good to me, man. Awesome. What do you need from me? What kind of help? And so yeah. it's kind of where he's at, but Cool. I don't know where he, I don't know where he'll land, um, but it's cool to watch his process. And so, that's a as a dad, that's a very cool moment to see how uh, impressive your kid is. Yeah. 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 It is. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. Awesome. All right. All right cool. Yeah. Have a. Uh, we'll see you guys. Have a great weekend. We'll see you for. Uh, thank you. Come again. Maybe if you. Uh, 
You'll be looking to see what go do it. What you got in the end, then even if you didn't need to do the other two, it just come do it. He told you what he expects the time to be. Just go for it. Go for it. Be better than average. (laughs) Be mean. Be mean. (laughs) And on that, on that note, yeah, we'll see you on the creek. On the creek.